But I went to a Pi Ladies event in Vancouver. The vibe was completely different from any other programming meetup I'd ever been to. I did not feel like I was being tested or anything like that. And I, even though I felt very new, people were just saying like, yeah, just make a five minute talk about whatever you're learning and come back. I got involved with it because it was there, because Python has a community in a way that you can't really necessarily say to the same extent. Welcome to Pi Podcasts, the hidden figure of Python podcast series. The goal of this podcast series is to highlight the voices from underrepresented group members of the Python community. The title is tricky. Executive editor, no one knows what that means. That sounds big. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, it, it either sounds very big or very small. Uh, sometimes people see the word editor and they're like, oh, this is the lady that does the spell check on my tutorial. I similarly was self-taught. And so like, yeah, I paid for some courses. and But a lot of it was just like, well, things are on the internet. I'll go learn. I learned from the internet. I am now providing to the internet. And mm -hmm. Other people will learn as well. Yeah. My name is Marietta. I'm one of the hosts for Pi Podcasts. I'm based in Vancouver, Canada. And my name is Teresa. I am also one of the Pi Podcasts. Host, and I'm based in Hamburg, Germany. All right, I'm Joanna Jablonski, and I've been involved in the Python community since I think 2016, and I'm also based in Vancouver, Canada. Mm -hmm.